Hey, my gilded brethren, you see this right here? This right here, I'm going to call this the New York Times Square billboard text effect. The marquee text effect. The, the steel marquee text effect. The tutorial called it the on-screen text effect, but I'm going to call it the steel shot marquee text effect. You know, I should have put some motion blur in this or something. You know, that's a good idea. I might do that. I might, I might have to make another one. But hey, let's get started on this one. I gotta show you. The, I gotta show you how to do this one. I'm gonna start off with uh, a width of 900, height of 600, and a resolution of 300. And I'm gonna start off by splashing the background with uh, black. All right. And now what I want you to do, I want you to go down here to the to the rounded rectangle tool. Yours will say the line tool, but I want you to grab the rounded rectangle tool. I want you to go and come up here to the top. Make sure it's set the shape layers, rounded rectangle. And go to geometry options, and I want you to click on fix size, and I want you to set the width at seven pixels, and the height at 26 pixels, and have snap to pixels checked. We're about to make some little, some little pill-like things for a pattern. Yeah, there we go. Now, if you just click on the the background, uh, a new layer with the shape mask will pop up. Double click on that black square, and I want you to change the uh, color code to FF four C two two. All right, there we go. All right, and now we're just gonna duplicate that layer by pushing Control J and go up to the arrow tool. Grab the arrow tool, click on that layer, and I want you to move this this shape right here over nine pixels. So on the D-pad, on the uh, keyboard, yeah, the D-pad. I know you know what I'm talking about. Tap that arrow, the right arrow, nine times, nine times, and then stop. And what I want you to do is change the color yet again. And we're gonna change the color to to a blue this time and it's one two eight three f nine hit ok all we're gonna do we're gonna duplicate this this shape yet again one more time not one more time it's two more times and do the same thing move it to the right nine pixels with the d-pad arrow tap it nine times count out nine times all right we're gonna change this color to seven nine f Nine five A. I hit OK. All right, we're gonna duplicate it one more time. This is the last time, and then I want you to move this one nine pixels to the right also. But after we change the color, we're gonna change the color to double click on that square. We're gonna change it back to the to the orange. It's gonna be F F four C F F four C O two two. Hit OK. Alright, what I want you to do now is you can turn on your turn your turn on your guides for me. We're gonna uh, we're gonna need the guides for this one. And this is just the the catalyst of the pattern. This is the beginning. Zoom in a little bit because you, you will need to be precise with this one. Alright. I want you to put the uh, guide like in right in in the middle of the little the little pill looking thing just like this and I want you to grab the marquee the, the um, click on the background and I want you to grab the uh, the square the, I don't know if that's rectangle yet yeah, rectangle marquee tool and look where I'm starting mine at to the right yours just like that hold on hold on hold on I don't like that Control D. It's a little bit too much space in that one. Alright. It looks something like this right here. Something like this. Alright, and with the background with the background layer selected, I want you to go up to edit and define pattern. We're gonna name this pattern RBG. Red, blue, green, if you didn't know. 
Alright, and you can get rid of the guides. You want to view and clear guides. Control D to deselect, and you can delete all these layers. You don't need them anymore. They're useless. The, ex the expendable have perished. So be it. Hey, K Kill Jaden said that, you know, from World of Warcraft. If you didn't know. But hey, just grab the text tool for me. And you can type in whatever you'd like. You know what I'm typing in. You, you know what I'm typing in. I'm typing in get it at 5. And what we're going to do now is, after you typed in whatever you typed in, create a new layer and fill it with black. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now go into the um, layers blending options. Right click. Go up into the blending options. And uh, go to check pattern overlay. Go into there. Click on that. And select the pattern we just created. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Alright, and we're going to scale that down 25. Scale to 25%. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's looking, it's looking good, right? It's looking good. Alright. And now what we're going to do, we're going to make a layer mask out of this pattern. So what you do is hold Alt and float on that line in between the layer 1 and the text layer. You see what I'm doing? You see that? And then left click on that line. And watch what happens. Bam. Layer mask. Layer mask. You gained a level. You got it. Now what I want you to do is hold shift. And select both the layers. And then right click. And go and go to convert to smart object. Alright. There we go. And now we're going to start off this portion of the tutorial by renaming the layer. I'm going to name mine blue because my R is inoperable and I'm recording. But I want you to name yours Blair. Okay? Name yours Blair. Alright. After you named yours Blair, get out of there, select it, and control J to duplicate the level layer. We're going to name that layer Text Layer. Alright? Text Layer. There we go. Now I want you to select the Blur layer. And we're going to do some uh, filters to this layer right here. Go up to Filter, Blur. Go down to Gaussian Blur. We're going to set it to 20 pixels. Gaussian Blur to 20 pixels. And we're going to go back to Filters. And we're going to blur it out again. Go to Motion Blur, blur this time. Have the angle set at 90. And we're going to set the distance at 50. There we go. Alright. Now, right click on the blending options. We're going to add another pattern overlay to this layer. And the same one. We just create the RBG. Going to uh, set the opacity to 75. The blend mode, we're going to set it to overlay. And we're going to scale it down to 50. Hey, it's, it, we almost, we're almost done. Look at that. That's beautiful. Matrixy, right? Alright, now select the text layer. I'm gonna go into filter. I'm gonna go to blur. I'm gonna go to motion blur. Ooh. Oh, oh. Wrong Gaussian. I don't know. What? Oh. Okay, oh, wrong one. Motion blur. Whoops. Don't mind that. Never mind that. Hey, we all make mistakes. I'm gonna set the angle at 90. We're going to set the distance at 10. Okay. Alright. What we're going to do now, we're going to go into the blending options of the text layer. Add a pattern overlay. Alright. RBG. Scale it to 25. And we're going to set the opacity at uh, 75. And there you have it this is the effect right here but before that let's convert let's merge these two layers shift click select them both right click and convert to another smart object all right look at that it's amazing that is amazing alrighty hey what the fuck hey I've never seen this before what is this menu 
Oh man, this is a bunch of surprises just taking place now. What in the world? Alright, back alright, let me show you something. Let me show you how I did that little distortion. Go up in the edit and transform. Go to perspective. And you can turn this any which way you'd like. You could I would have went further, but I'm just gonna show you how to like put it at an angle. Make it look like it's on a wall or something like that. Kind of like the gra graffiti tutorial. If you haven't seen it, check it out. The graffiti. Check on my page. But hey, that's the effect right there. Comment, subscribe, rate. Um, thank you all for watching. Not happy to